You're listening to a 95 BFM podcast. Last Tuesday, over 120 psychologists employed by the Ministry of Education working in schools and early childhood centres began a month-long strike. The strike action involves the psychologists refusing to accept further referrals of cases onto their caseload. Last week, I spoke to Dr Deborah Powell, the National Secretary for APEX, the union representing the majority of psychologists employed by the Ministry of Education. We discussed why these psychologists are going on strike, the pay gap between ministry psychologists and DHB psychologists, and what impact poor conditions for ministry psychologists has on the young people they're supporting in schools. I began by asking Deborah to explain the strike. Okay, well, the strike is starting today. Um, It will continue for a month. Um, It's a partial strike. So what our team are doing is they're continuing to care for the clients they already have um, on their books, but they won't be taking any new clients on. Now, quite a few of our psychologists um, have very, very heavy caseloads, some of them twice as many uh, clients and whanau as they should have. So they're still going to be very busy. Um, but they simply won't be taking on new pa- new patients and clients. Could you talk a little bit more about what this issue is, is with the Ministry of Education and sort of why there is a difference between the way the Ministry of Education treats its psychologists to pe- compared to how the DHB treats its psychologists? Well, uh, there aren't that many psychologists employed by the Ministry of Education that Let's be clear on that first. Uh, we've got about 200. Uh, we should have 250. We, we are running very serious vacancies, and we do have quite a high turnover. Um, about one in five psychologists leaves the Ministry of Education annually, um, so that's a fairly high turnover rate at uh, you know 20%. Um, bottom line is that the Ministry of Education um, hasn't paid the attention to this particular group of workers that they should have over the years, and their salary rates have not kept pace with those being paid elsewhere, um, including in the the district health board sector. And as a result, we've seen the recruitment and retention issues, which the ministry is now suffering from. So we first raised the issues with the Ministry of Education when we started working with their psychologists about four years ago now. And we've been through one round of bargaining and um, didn't get the matter resolved. This round of bargaining... um, We've had another go at it eight months later. We still aren't getting anywhere. And, um, you know, the gap between Ministry of Education and the DHBs is significant. Um, the Ministry is offering 97000 DHBs pay around 110000 for a um, experienced psychologist. So, you know, unless we can bridge that gap, we're going to continue to have shortages of psychologists working in the Ministry of Education. And, of course, um, you know, our children and their whanau who desperately need the assistance of these psychologists will be missing out. Just to put it in context for people, when you're talking about Ministry of Education psychologists... What does that mean mean for people? Is that um, psychologists that are working in schools, like um, under sort of education facilities? Is that the idea? Yes, basically um, they're looking after uh, children in schools um, who have learning disabilities, maybe um, are on the spectrum of autism, who have had perhaps traumatic experiences in early childhood and, and as a result you know, have psychological trauma that, that needs to be um, addressed. Um, So very vulnerable children. Um, And, you know, the thing about this particular group of children and the help that their psychologist can give them is um, with that help, their whole lives will be improved. If they don't get help, then obviously this very early trauma that they've suffered or these difficulties that they're having uh, just continue to affect their lives. So, you know, we aren't just talking about a one-off here. We're talking about the life of um, these young people and, and to a large extent their, their family in Farnau as well. Um, so investing in them um, at this early age, is it just reaps huge rewards for the length of their life. Um, and it's, it's just, it's really an indictment of the Ministry of Education that they haven't put uh, the resources towards ensuring that these young people have that opportunity. Um, that's the bottom line, and, and we're basically saying, come on, Ministry of Education, it's time to it's time to step up here and do the right thing. 
Do you think the reason those gaps exist and the reason the Ministry of Education perhaps isn't up to scratch and isn't meeting the same standards as the DHB, do you reckon that a hangover perhaps from a lack of focus on mental health for quite some time and that sort of catching up, what is a reason that would explain why the Ministry of Education hasn't caught up? Well, I I guess the main um, workers that the Ministry of Education deals with obviously are teachers. And um, there are thousands of them. And I, I, I wonder if these smaller groups um, of specialist workers um, don't sort of get forgotten about, to be entirely honest. Um, now, as I say, there aren't that many of them, um, but the work they do with this small group of children, um, again, it's not the majority of children, um, thank goodness, but um, is, is really, really important. But uh, I do wonder if in the, the grand, grand scheme of things, the Ministry of Education doesn't, you know, simply, well forgets about them, if I can put it that way. Uh, That's not good enough. Um, You know, in psychological terms, um, the evidence is really clear that if you have good mental health, if you have good mental well-being um, as a child, the chances of you having uh, mental health issues or, um, you know, sequelae, if you like, consequences uh, later on in life is much, much reduced. So the investment in these young people um, reaps rewards not just for them, but actually our whole system as well. So their own personal well-being and mental health will be improved as they grow older and the demand on resources for um, adults who are continuing to suffer from their childhood trauma and childhood experiences or difficulties will be far reduced. So some investment now, um, it does. It reaps its rewards going forward just in terms of both the personal benefits for these people but also as far as the system is concerned. So yeah, I think the Ministry of Health just has um, lost that focus and uh, we need to bring their attention back to the importance of this admittedly small group of people but really valuable and important as far as, you know, the lives of these young people are concerned. That was Dr Deborah Powell, the National Secretary for APEX, speaking about the psychologists at the Ministry of Education going on strike this month. That was a 95BFM podcast. To hear more, head to 95BFM.com slash bcasts.